having been led into the start. So all, all 11 appear to have jumped off OK as they near fence number one with Beyond the Glen and 12 o'clock high from Danny Mags and Barton Jubilee. Then came Spruce Up and Indolo Return as they make their way two-thirds of the way down the far side with Alpha Rat towards the back markers along with Shem Iron who's the one that's held up last for Mount Gen just in front of that one. Taylor made boy the favourite is racing about fifth from the tail as they cross over fence number three. So beyond the Glen, John Dawson looking for a quick double here this afternoon, making the running. 12 o'clock high, Cuff Walton aboard the grey wide on the course. They're being chased then by Bob and Jubilee in third. Then in the low return with Danny Max and Taylor Made Boy, followed by Spruce Up, Pegasus Walk, near side, Fermount Gent as they near the next one with uh, Shemper's iron towards the inside. Alpha Rat was the last one to take it. All safe, nearing fence number five. 12 o'clock high, with a narrow advantage over beyond the Glen. Bart Jubilee's in third, then Indolo Return is in fourth place. From Shemper's iron in fifth, Taylor Made Boy is sixth. Danny Max is seventh from Pegasus Walk in 8th, Fermount Gent is in ninth place from Spruce up in 10th, Alpha Rat, last of the 11, make their way towards the open ditch for the first time. We're beyond the Glen, slightly stuttered over it, 12 o'clock high, Calf Walton, narrow advantage, Barton Julie believes back in 3rd, followed by Indolo return, Taylor Made Boys fairly keen for his head, the favourite with the white and blue stars, followed then by Tempers Iron, Shemper's iron towards the inside. Danny Max is chasing those with Fermount Gent, whose rider Joe Wright has ridden five winners in the last week, including three under rules. A man in form, but he has to be more than informed to get this 11-year-old to win today, I fancy. So they're back into sight again with Spruce Up and Alpha Rat at the tail of the field. Behind the trees they race and on towards the old Ravy Hunt Club sponsored eighth fence with 12 o'clock high Indolo Return has come through to chase that one with Barton Jubilee next in the field Beyond the Glen has just lost its early pitch Taylor Made Boy has gone past that one then comes Shemper's Iron back in about 6th or 7th place with Danny Max following that Fermount Gent, Pegasus Walk, Alpha Rat and finally spruce up. That's the order as they jump the last one on that side of the course and begin their run back towards home where three fences once again await them. 12 o'clock high in Calf Walton then. Making the running a clear leader now. Leads on by about three or four lengths to Barton Jubilee who's going to take off in second place. In the low return is next from Taylor Made Boy. Fermount Gent is next, followed by Shemper's Iron, Beyond the Glen, lost further ground, back towards the inside, Danny Max is getting a little bit closer, then comes Pegasus Walk, so cross over this one, and Shemper's Iron unseated the rider, there, the rider very quickly up on his feet, so Shemper's Iron is out of the contest, as they jump, what will be the final fence in a circuit's time, the rest of them jump it okay, 12 o'clock high then, for Cap Walton, Michael Broad out in front, a length and a half in front of Barton Jubilee on the inside of TaylorMade Boy. Indolo Return and Danny Mags are chasing those. Then Pegasus Walk beyond the Glen, Spruce Up, Alpha Rat is now struggling. The open ditch for the final time. No change in the order. Alpha Rat will surely be pulled up after that very sloppy jump at that fence. So 12 o'clock high has TaylorMade Boy for company. And uh, then comes a Fermount Gent with Barton Jubilee. Danny Mags around horses as they make this turn to race down the far side for the final time. And a packing field. Any one of the ten that remain could win from here. All going reasonably at nine that remain could win as Alpha Rat has been pulled up. So they jump the fence just obscured from us here. And the lead is now with TaylorMade Boy from 12 o'clock high. Fermount Gent and Barton Jubilee are chasing those as they race behind the trees. And 
Taylor made boy then to Firm Out Gent in second. A mistake from 12 o'clock high as Barton Jubilee goes into a clear third. Danny Mags continues to improve behind those. And then Pegasus Walk, who's in about six or seven place but is driven along into low return and sprints up beyond the Glen, finds itself at the back of the field, the early leader so they're once again behind the trees and they re-emerge and they have three fences to jump in the Ripon Farm Services restricted race so turning in and it is Taylor Made Boy who narrowly avoided the loose horse crossing the course Taylor Made Boy Danny Max has emerged as a clear threat in second Barton Jubilee is under pressure 12 o'clock high keeping on at the one pace as they race towards the second last, Taylor Made Boy out in front comes Come on, towards Taylor this uh, on, second Taylor last. Firm out, Gent now back towards the inside, emerging as a threat. Then 12 o'clock high, but it's Taylor Made Boy on towards the final fence, just steadying into it a little bit. Taylor Made Boy got at the last fence all wrong. That's allowed 12 o'clock high, a big chance as they come close home. It's 12 o'clock high from Taylor Made Boy. 12 o'clock high wins it from Taylor Made Boy. Firm out, Gent went round on well to take third, and he was quite close for fourth then between Spruce Up, Barton Jubilee.